Hey guys, in today's shop video, I'm going to show you how to make some clamping calls. These are some scrap wood that I had in the shop. These are two inches wide, 16 to 18 inches long, and three quarters to an inch thick. And what makes these special are you have a slight curve from end to end. It's two inches in the center, and it's about a 32nd of an inch lower on each end. So you're probably wondering why you need something like this. Now, this is a 12 inch wide, 24 inch long panel that I had to glue together. It's two pieces of three quarter inch plywood. This is my drill press table. And I've got these really deep throated F clamps and I've got parallel clamps, but as you can see, they're not gonna reach the center of this panel. So I can clamp all the way around there, but the center of this won't get any clamping pressure. So most likely what you're gonna have is a panel that's bowed in the center because of no clamping pressure to pull that down. With its really slight curve, you can put them one on the top, one on the bottom, and then clamp the ends of them. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna flatten this board out. And so instead of it having a curve and rocking, it's gonna flatten that out and it's gonna put even pressure across the whole width of your panel. So with a panel like this, you can have three or four sets of these clamping calls and that's all the clamps that you're gonna need. Uh, they're really easy, really fast to make. Let me show you how to knock these out in about 20 minutes each. The calls don't require a lot of scrap lumber. I found a two by two piece of cherry lumber in my rack that's perfect for this task. To begin, I joint one face and one edge, and then I run it through the planer to clean up the other faces and to make them parallel to one another. Next, I rip the boards in half to get my two pieces. They ended up being right around seven eighths of an inch thick, which is perfect. You can make the calls any length that you want, but for general use, I found 16 inches to be about the perfect size. Uh, this should cover about 99% of the laminations that I deal with. Keep in mind, however, if you do make your calls longer, you're going to have to add to the amount of waste that you remove from the calls when you're drawing your curve. To make this process quicker, I clamp the two pieces together. This not only saves time, but it guarantees that the calls are identical in shape and size. For the 16 inch long calls, I make a mark a 32nd of an inch from the top edge. This is the amount of waste that I need to remove. Like I mentioned before, if you make the calls longer, you're going to have to adjust this number accordingly. Now comes the fun part. With the sharp hand plane, I make a few passes to remove the waste. There are a couple of notes for this part of the video, and the first being you can use any plane that you have, a block plane, jack plane, smoother, pretty much any plane that you have in your arsenal. The second tip is to wax the sole of your planes before using them. It makes a world of difference in the resistance that you get when you're using your hand plane. I keep an eye on the line and once I hit it, I rotate the calls and remove the waste from the opposite end. After both sides are taken down, I like to make a final pass across the full length. This smooths the surface because there are going to be a few bumps in the center where I try to set the plane down right on my line and start cutting. And one thing that you're going to have to do, and this is extremely important, is you need to wax the top of your calls. This is the surface that will come in contact with your lamination, and if you get glue on this, it's not going to come off very easily. Here's a close up of what the calls look like and how they would work while being used. With the clamp on one side, you can see a gap on the opposite end. When I clamp it down, it flattens the call out, thus putting even pressure across the entire length of the call. And here's a short video on how I use the clamping calls for the lamination for the drill press top. After about two hours in the clamps, I took it out, and now this panel is dead flat. There's no cupping, there's no creases right where the lamination is. It is a perfect lamination. This is the tabletop for my drill press table, so I want that to be perfect. So these clamping calls are something that I think you're gonna want in your shop. They're really easy to batch out. I'll probably end up making two or three more sets, and these calls are definitely valuable and something that you need in your shop. Hope you enjoyed this build video. If you did, hit the thumbs up, and I'll see you in the next build video.